I heard that Yuri was actually asked out. Sugawara really is desperate, huh? Stop. Apparently Sugawara was tricked by Kagawa's honey trap. He's gonna get caught in some kind of marriage scam in the future. Please stop! Hey, Yuto! Do you still like me? Ah! <gasps> oh, it's a dream. It's still too early to wake up. But I'm afraid of having nightmares again. So I'll get up now. I'm Yuto Sugawara, an ordinary 23-year-old office worker. I've been through a trauma, and my life is in hard mode right now. Good morning, Mr. Sugawara. Uh, good morning. He won't even greet me properly. I have a phobia of women because of a certain trauma I experienced in high school. I can communicate normally with men, but with women, I have difficulty making eye contact. One female employee is bothering me about that. Good morning, Yuto. Good morning. Hey, let's go for a drink after work today. Continuing the story from the other day. Her name is Kisaragi Otoha. She's a receptionist with a good reputation in the company. For some reason, she tries to have something to do with me. I'm sorry, I have to stay and do something today. I'm totally waiting for you. Is there anything I can help you with? No thank you. Besides, I have things to do when I get home, okay? Well, let's go home together on the way. Sorry. Maybe some other time. Wait! Kisaragi isn't waiting for me today. Is she? Good. What's good? Ah! Why are you here? To go home with you, of course. I told you I can't! This girl is quite the weirdo. I can't believe she's so aggressive towards me, a plain, unsociable guy. Is she really trying to get involved with me? Or is she up to something devious? I would like to know her thoughts, but my body is having an allergic reaction! Hey, can you please listen to what I have to say? I like you. I love you. I don't know why she's so into me. If I remember correctly, this is the sixth time she's confessed her love to me. My answer to that is always the same. So, go out with me. I'm sorry. Wh why not me? Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't, but I can't! I won't give up on you. I'm never going to give up. The process is similar, but I don't think it's the same trauma I went through in high school. I feel no malice whatsoever from her. Still, I can't respond to the feelings. It doesn't matter if she's a good person or not. About me! I'm just waiting for her feelings to leave me! Let's talk a little on the way home. I can't make it today either. Five minutes. No, just three minutes, please, Yuto? After that, no matter how much I rejected her, she kept trying to get involved with me. Uh, I guess I have no other choice. Fine. I'll be waiting for you at Nanakuma Park near the office. Yay! I can work harder than usual today. See you later. <laughs> She left with a childlike smile on her face. I bet she's a pure person. That's why she shouldn't get involved with me, a coward and cynical person. The reason I agreed to this invitation was not to shorten the distance. It was to build a big wall between us. Here, it was a long day, huh? I don't need alcohol. It's fine. It's our anniversary today. The anniversary of the first time you accepted my invitation. About that. Did you start to think a little more positively about it? No, it's not. I'm going to tell you about my past, so that we won't get involved again. What do you mean? I'm scared of women. Yuta, good morning. Good morning. Here, this is for you. Huh? What's this? I went on a trip with my family this weekend. This is a souvenir. It's only for Yuto, so please take good care of it. Thank you. I was living my high school life without any sparkling girls. But one day, everything changed. I was able to build an intimate relationship with a classmate, Yuri Kagawa. Not being used to women, I quickly fell in love with her. I think I was thinking about her 24-7. <sighs> K 
Can I ask you why you called me up here? I fell in love with you! Please go out with me! Oh... This was the first love confession in my life. It was a big event for me. I couldn't sleep at all last night, and kept thinking about the words of my confession. I practiced in front of the mirror for a long time, but the world is a cruel place, and my confession didn't even reach her! Yes! I win! Huh? Well, I lost... Two weeks is a new record. That was a great performance. Maybe you're a good actress. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm sorry, Yuta. I can't answer your feelings. Because this is just for fun. Let me tell you the cruel truth. Her suggestive attitude was all calculated. She targeted the shady characters and was enjoying the game of how fast she could get them to confess their feelings for her. Then my classmates made fun of me and my high school life became miserable! I had no idea what happened. I know that you're not that kind of person, but I'm just scared. So please leave me. How dare she do something like that to you? Kisaragi? It may seem like no big deal to you, but I've had my feelings played with by a man before too. Even if it's just a little, I understand how you feel. I hate that kind of thing. I hate people who can't imagine people's pain. You can't play with people's feelings. I absolutely cannot tolerate it. Miss Kisaragi, she has the angriest expression I've ever seen on her face. That was a reaction far beyond my expectations. I thought she would leave in sympathy, or I thought I would be disillusioned, that I would be forever brooding over the past. But she showed her anger. She was the first person to ever get angry with me. I'm sorry. I didn't know you had a past like that. I'm sorry I made you feel uncomfortable. I know it was scary, but please believe me on this. Not all women in the world are your enemy. At least, I'm definitely on your side. No matter what happens, I'm on your side. She couldn't say anything with her mouth, but she was sincerely angry with me. And all I could do was to be on her twisted side. I'm glad you feel that way, but I can't do it. I'm sorry. Wait, if you don't like it, I won't contact you anymore. But my feelings won't change, and I'll never give up. Oh, okay. No matter what. Sorry. It was so unusual for someone to find out about that part of me and be so supportive that I started to get scared and delusional. Good morning, Yuto. Morning. You're giving a presentation for the company-wide meeting next week, right? If you need help with any materials, you can count on me. Oh, thanks. Well then, see ya! Huh? Is there nothing going on today? Is she being cautious about what happened before? Or did she give up after all? I felt more distant from her than usual. After that, she didn't make any aggressive moves on me, and I finally had a peaceful day. Or so I thought. A new associate joins us today. He's an excellent newcomer after graduate school. So don't get left behind, guys! I'm Kota Nakajima. I look forward to working with you from today. Wait, what? You gotta be kidding me! Wait, is that you, Sugawara? Do you two know each other? Well, we were classmates in high school. <laughs> wow. I never thought we'd end up working at the same place. Such a coincidence. I'm surprised too. Oh yeah. Remember when you told Kagawa that you liked her in high school? But she was just messing with you after all. She looks all innocent on the outside, but she was crazy on the inside, huh? As you can imagine, I felt sorry for you, buddy. Oh, thanks. Aw, oh, come on, don't be so bummed out. It's already in the past, isn't it? Hey! Huh? Look! The beautiful receptionist! Your name was... Uh... Kizaragi. Oh yes! Miss Kisaragi! I'm Nakajima! I heard you introduce yourself earlier, so there's no need. More importantly, I was saying earlier, if you have Kagawa-san's contact information, could you give it to me? What? Why? I have to complain about something. Kisaragi? What on earth are you trying to do? For you, for you guys, it could be something in the past. It may just be a topic of conversation over drinks. But for those who've been hurt, 
It can't just be a topic from the past. They will keep thinking about it, get depressed, and suffer for the past, the present, and the future. That's not the past anymore, is it? It's about the past, the present, and the future. I mean, yeah. I certainly won't hold it against you because I don't know if you were directly involved. So instead, give me the girl's contact information. Her anger was not superficial. It wasn't just because of the atmosphere of the situation. It wasn't just verbal anger. She was thinking about me more than I was thinking about myself. There's one person in this whole wide world who's that serious. Isn't that enough? So... That's enough, Kisaragi. What? It's okay? Yeah, I was wrong. They weren't all enemies. And I was a fortunate guy after all. Hey, I'm sorry about everything back then. I was laughing with the guys in class that time. I didn't think you were that hurt. It's fine. Because I have someone important to be angry with me now. Huh? Kisaragi, I'll be waiting for you at the usual place today. Yuto? It may be too late. But now that my feelings have been decided, I looked Kisaragi in the eye for the first time and talked to her. I'm sorry for calling you out. Don't worry. It made me very happy. I never realized how your eyes are so beautiful. What's wrong all of a sudden? Do you have a fever? I never would have even imagined you'd say that. I'd never looked at you seriously. So this is proof that I can now look you in the eye and talk to you properly. Really? I'm sorry I've pushed you away so many times. And thank you very much. I was glad to hear how serious you were when supporting me. It sounds like you've went somewhere far away already. The direction has not changed. I just moved forward. I think I feel the same way to you as you feel to me. What? If your feelings haven't changed yet, I have come to like the kind person that you are. Your pure smile and your compassion and care towards others I know it's too late, but... huh? Oops, I almost jumped into your arms out of excitement! Thank you so much for putting that thought into our relationship. I feel exactly the same towards you, Yuta. Wait, so... Just because you've opened up to me, it may not mean we'll be, like, lovers right away, but our time together will continue, so let's be patient and take it one step at a time. Together. Seeing her face... For the first time, I hated myself for being timid. It's no wonder I've been so traumatized up until now. I justified myself as a victim. But from now on, I will become a strong man who can support her. Hello! Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you all next time! Bye-bye!